When I came to college, I stopped playing the drums. Not because I got tired of them, but because I simply couldn't fit them in my mom's overly stuffed minivan. And even if I could, I would have had nowhere to store them once I got to college. And for me, I never had the chance to learn to play a musical instrument. And now, I just don't have the time or patience to learn. As engineers, Matt and I took this, these problems into our own hands and developed Spectrums, a new musical instrument that lets anyone play music anywhere. There are rings that transform the color of tap surfaces into sounds, played wirelessly through your smartphone. This isn't just a concept, this is something that Matt and I actually developed. And here's one of the rings we made. To show you how this thing works, we're going to show a quick demo. First, connect the ring to your phone. Then, start tapping a color. When you want to add a new sound, tap a new color. And keep doing this until you have all the sounds that you want. Then you can start playing a beat. This isn't just for drums, it can be used to play any instrument or musical sound. For instance, guitar chords. Or animal sounds, which kids really like. Or record your own sounds. Drums are awesome. If you have two rings, you can have a lot of fun. So we began product de development two summers ago, starting out with this wristband that could only detect black and white. We continued iterating over many prototypes, doing a lot of testing and analysis, much of which was done in Rev, the startup incubator in the commons. And we were finally able to shrink the electronics down into an advanced ring that can fit any finger size. So as we mentioned earlier, learning and playing music can be a pain. A lot of instruments are expensive, difficult to learn, and loud and bulky. However, at Spectrums, we're trying to make our rings as inexpensive as possible, as completely portable and silent. So as you can imagine, a lot of people are very interested in our product, such as the parent, the drummer, the musician on a budget, the experimental musician, and the gamer. We decided to focus initially on this musically supported parent because we got the best response from them, and we believe that our technology is currently at a suitable level for their children to play with. So these parents told us that Drum sets are too loud and disruptive. They're not sure if their kid will stick with it, so they don't necessarily want to invest a whole lot of money right away. But they all want their children to be able to play, mu to play music and be excited about it. Um, we spoke to the kids of these parents, and they, they had a lot of fun playing with our rings. So check out this video. Ow. So some people ask us, are kids going to be able to play with us without a phone? Well, the truth is that in 2013, 37% of adults owned a tablet, half of those which were parents, and 57% of those parents specifically downloaded apps for their children to play with. So this comes out to 24 million parents who'd be interested in downloading Spectrums for their children. Currently, our rings cost around $17 to make, although we could bring this down to 10 in the future. Um, we, we think that $40 is a suitable price to sell these rings at, which comes to 20, around $20 in profit per ring. Multiplying that by the 24 million interested parents, and we, and we have a $480 million gross profit potential. <laughs> and this is just with parents who own a tablet who let their kids play with it. So it actually turns out that 53% of kids own their own cell phone by the age of six. And it, besides just selling one ring, we can have subscriptions to our online database of sounds. We can do in-app purchases, such as games like Guitar Hero. And we can do partnerships with, for example, Nintendo, or some other app developer who wants to use our ring. So with all this in mind, that $480 million potential can grow to over a billion. So we've also reached out to a lot of potential distributors. For instance, Bloomingdale's was so excited about our product, they wanted it in stores last holiday season when we were too early in product development. 
Matt and I both study mechanical engineering and have a lot of technical engineering experience. I spent last summer at the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab, and Matt took the year off to work at a drone startup and also worked at Amazon Prime Air. We also have a great team helping us with our business, um, our iOS development, and product design. So for those of you in the audience who are interested, we urge you to please join our mailing list. Just take out your phones right now and just send your name to join at spectrums.com. We need as many people as possible on this list so we can launch a successful crowdfunding campaign, which we plan on doing next month. So we'll, we have a table outside of the auditorium so you can try them out yourselves after this event. And thank you. This is a production of DMIG, the Dyson Media Innovation Group.